we've uh, won tons of international awards. These aren't just going to the state fair and getting a gold ribbon. This is up against uh, every distillery. Get people over here and showing the brains. We source all our brains from Arkansas. So for our meat from Arkansas farmers, our rye as well. We uh, source barrels from Arkansas. Make Arkansas's first ever bourbon whiskey. So, so are, are we still the only really producers in Rocktown? In Arkansas, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I started it too. Got our 10 year anniversary coming up. What, what is, why did this, when you were looking, you said, you know, you were looking for something to do. Did you love alcohol? Did, did yeah, you, what, what I, made you I was a whiskey this? geek, you oh, know, geek. yeah. I liked whiskey, I liked uh, reading about it, I liked studying it, I liked drinking it. Um, and I thought, what could be better than making whiskey for a living, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I uh, wasn't really interested in becoming a brewer. Um, I, uh, I like beer, I drink beer, but um, I didn't really want to make beer. But the idea of making whiskey, now that, that's just, just compared yeah, to beer. Just <laughs> it just is, you know? It is. So, it's got a little bit more, um, mm, you know? So, that's what I wanted to do. Your background is engineering. Right. Um, and uh, was able to get started in 2010. Okay. Um, well, you, you answered the question about your passion. That's just because you love, you were the geek about bourbon yeah, and whiskey. Yeah, right. Um, that an we've answered all of them as I was walking on that page. Okay. Okay, you started out, so it was bourbon, or was it? Do bourbon, vodka, bourbon? and gin. Okay, what's the difference in bourbon and whiskey that has bourbon whiskey on the label? So whiskey is an overall category. Okay. Where bourbon is a type. Okay. Just um, like when you walk up to the bar and you say you want wine, they say what kind do you want? Do you want yes. red, white? Yes. Those are all wines. Yes. Bourbon is a type of whiskey, okay. just like Chardonnay is a type of wine. You can tell I don't drink whiskey. Yeah, right. I'm not a whiskey girl. Yeah, Let's, so. We, we'll have to get to vodka before we talk. <laughs> yeah, so the, you know, on every label it says bourbon whiskey, mm -hmm. rye whiskey, scotch whiskey, Canadian whiskey, Which Irish is your whiskey. One out of your, out of your. Out of your whiskeys? Yeah. yeah bourbon, yeah. Just bourbon? Mm hmm Because, like, there's nothing about me thinking that rye would taste good with anything. Yeah, rye is very popular. Is it? Oh, yeah. What's your personal favorite? Well, that's hard to say, you know. <laughs> I kind of like them all. They're all my children. Did we just decide to roll into vodka or? No, that was all part of the plan from the very beginning was to start with vodka and whiskey. So the difference between vodka and bourbon or whiskey in general is that vodka does not have to be aged. You can distill it and then bottle it and sell it. Where bourbon has to go in a barrel and be aged. So how do you generate cash flow with bourbon? You can't. So I needed some clear spirits or vodka and gin and other things. Um, and so that's how we, uh, our plan was to, to do So it's vodka. a basis of what, what, what of your grains? The same mix as what your bourbon is? Do you so use bourbon grains? by law has to be at least 51% corn. That's written in the federal code, right? Okay. Just like the definition for bourbon <clears throat> is in the federal code. So bourbon has to be 51% corn, aged in a new charred oak barrel, and made in the United States of America. There's more rules than that, but those are the three basic ones. There's, uh, so to make vodka, though, the rule is it just has to be distilled at or above 190 proof. That's coming off the still. Albeit we don't 
bottle it at 190 proof, we bottle it at 80, but to come off the still, it has to be 190 proof. But there are no regulations on vodka, what it has to be made from. Okay. So you can make vodka literally from anything okay. that has starch content or sugar content. <laughs> sugar is just it's another not starch anyway. Can't lose weight. That's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know. But uh, so there's people that make vodka like us from corn. Okay. Ours is 100% corn. Or you can make it from oranges or milk or you know you name it there's people making vodka from it out there flavored vodka yeah yeah so we make we great use the essence of like the grapefruit no there it's all so, natural yeah yeah like oh, the, the great, oils yeah we use actual grapefruit juice lemon juice okay. mandarin orange basil's not a juice but it's a yeah. leaf um you know and a watermelon so it's all natural Rum. Rum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was rum a part of the plan in the beginning? Um, it was, you know, definitely part of the initial plan that at some point we would make rum, yes. We're picking bourbon that you, if we were trying to draw in the per perfect person that you wanted to try yours. What does my bourbon compare to? So my, yeah. my bourbon is a, uh, so in the mash bills what we call it the list of grains that we that we put uh -huh. in the bourbon uh -huh. um, we use corn wheat and malted barley so there's other bourbons that are bigger national brands that use that similar mash bill okay and kind of like we talked about before maker's mark is a bourbon that also uses wheat in the mash bill so ours would compare to Maker's Mark. Okay. And in the vodka category, you're close to the Tito's. Right. Take, I mean, it tastes close to the Tito's. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. if I throw it out there and I go, you know, if you're used to drinking this and you want to give it a shot, this is what you're going to be, yeah. you know, looking All right. for. Because mm -hmm. I won't do it tacky, but I, I would like for people to keep an open mind. Well, sure, and say, yeah. hey, if I love that, I might like this. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what's the rum? What would you go the rum up against? So, you know, rum is a, a very, uh, I don't know, complex category. It is. Um, we make what we call, what's called an aged rum. So we take the rum after it's been distilled and age it in, in used bourbon barrels, mm -hmm. which is, you know, what they do down in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Um, but people, you know, either think of Bacardi being a cheap white rum, or they think of, you know, Captain Morgan or Sailor Jerry or one of the other that are spiced rums. This is neither one of those, right? Okay. This is an aged rum. So it's just like a dark Myers type. Rum. Yeah, yeah, but, but no. the, so the thing about Myers rum is they've added a ton of sugar to it oh. ours is pure rum there's no sugar added okay so it, it really is kind of more of a um, rum aficionado's rum than so a cheap be, myers rum or really good for tiki drinks. yeah absolutely you know there's rums that are made in jamaica and other places in the caribbean that um have have a little bit of a funk to them they're not just sweet, clear, you know, they, they've got this kind of molasses funk to them. Yeah. And that's what mine is. Okay. It's a blend of molasses distilled rum and a blend of um, turbinado sugar distilled rum. Turbinado sugar is raw sugar like you would get in those packets that are sugar in the raw. Not brown sugar. No, no. But, I know what you're talking about. You know, it, I buy turbinado. It's part of the process of making sugar and they, they stop refining it and that's what turbinado is or demonura. Um, and it has that molasses, that little bit of... A little bit, but you know, brown sugar is, is actually refined sugar that they've added molasses back to, right? So um, this is not that. This is from a sugar plant in Louisiana 
that we use and we bring it in here and, and make rum from it. So it's real rum. It's not just cane sugar that we've added molasses to. Gotcha. I won't not do it justice. Okay. <laughs> so gin. Mm -hmm. What's your basis for your gin? Well, for any um, product to be called gin, it has to be made with juniper beer. So gin is really just flavored vodka. It's, it's a neutral spirit that's been flavored with juniper and other botanicals, right? So we use a process called vapor infusion where we heat up the vodka in the still and those vapors go through a botanical basket and they are infused with the botanicals that way. Which one's process takes the longest to actually fulfill into like an actual bottle? Well, From bourbon because you have to age it. So we've got some product that's over four years old. So, nice. you know, we had to make it four years ago. We had to think about what we wanted to sell today <laughs> four years ago to be able to do it. What do you, what's your, what do y'all try to let your window be on your aging? Is it all four years or do you have no. eight years or, you know how, um, we've got what, several different ages. Old charter has eight year old art charter and there's 10 year and there's a big difference in eight and 10. We got yeah. a friend and he said, don't you bring me no way. I ain't <laughs> drinking it. I said, okay. So uh, we use several different barrel sizes. So age is not necessarily a measure of quality. So you can make something really old taste really bad if you don't take care of it properly. So um, we use the highest quality wood um, and we have the smaller uh, 15 and 25 gallon barrels. Mm -hmm. And in a 25 gallon barrel, the surface area that's available to the liquid is higher than the surface area that's available to the liquid in a 53 gallon barrel. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a uh, mathematical formula based on the surface area of a cylinder. Okay. So um, thus the liquid gets more contact with the wood and achieves color and flavor faster. So um, our typical age is somewhere between 19 and 24 months. And then in, we also age in the big 53 gallon barrels and um, we do that in four years. So but, they go longer. Because yeah, because they're the bigger takes and it takes longer. Yeah. Okay. But um, aging isn't just about making a distillate and putting it in the, the wood. You have to think about everything that you do before it goes in the wood on well, how long am I gonna let this sit? So if you take a whiskey um, that was intended to be aged 10 years, let's say, from the still, that you think, well, I'm gonna age it 19 months, just like Phil does, and sell it, well, it's not gonna be any good. Yeah. Because um, a lot, if you're gonna age it for 10 years, you can leave more of the impurities in and the wood will take care of that. There's carbon and that yeah. helps filter the, the liquid inside the barrel. So um, when we are distilling, we are very careful that we only put the very best distillate in the barrel so that in 19 to 24 months, we're able to produce a super high quality whiskey. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect sense. He's an engineer too, a little bit. Okay. So he gets that, that, that would be on his brain. That you, you just walk down his lane with him. Okay, yeah. Um, so number one seller. Rocktown Vodka. Um, what's your favorite all time cocktail? Do you do it neat or do you do it on rocks? I, or my, do you like a cocktail in old fashioned or? I, uh, I, I drink it all. I'm an equal opportunity drinker, but, uh, um, if I'm just gonna get a, a cocktail, I'll make a Sazerac. Did you plan on like people booking tours here? Yeah, we uh, have been doing tours since the very beginning. Did you ever think you'd be a top 10 tourist attraction 10 years ago when you drew the plans up? Well, I don't know, I about, mean, I don't know about that, but uh, you know, um, I knew that uh, whiskey tourism and 
the idea of how it's made and all that was was very going to be very popular and people were going to continue to be interested in it so i knew it was important to have a great visitor experience and hopefully we measured up for the tuesday night like the drink nights cocktail, the yeah. cocktail yeah class I, that we did yeah mm -hmm. and so um what what that what put that on the radar just another way that we can engage with people and have fun and, and educate them on, you know, different cocktails and how to, you know, drink better, not more, you know? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That'll be a direct way. How to drink better, not more. Right. And since Arkansas and Maryland are your, your large or majority distributor for Rocktown, mm -hmm. What would you be looking for your next market? Or do you just leave it there? Do you have distributors or? Yeah, kinda? so the way alcohol is regulated, mm -hmm. every state is like a different country. Okay. So you have I to get, get you have to get a permit in that state. Mm -hmm. Then you have to get a distributor in that state. And you know, the whole thing has to happen. We're in, um, about 16 different states yeah maryland uh, delaware and dc are our second largest market but um, we're in new jersey massachusetts connecticut uh, georgia missouri illinois oklahoma um, we've sold some in pennsylvania we're in washington state oregon um, so, so did you say 14, 14 it's about 14, 14 to 16 something like that and we've also sold in the united kingdom canada Taiwan, Australia, Germany. So, you know. What, with watching what the industry is doing, where do you see the growth is gonna happen over the next five years? Um, you know, I, I think we're gaining new customers every day just uh, from wine and beer, you know? Mm -hmm. The distilled spirits sector is growing where those two are flat or going down. So um, we continue the cocktail movement and the interest in bourbon and whiskey and vodka and gin all continue to go up. And uh, people are interested in fun and interesting cocktails um, instead of, uh, you know, drinking another glass of red wine. Um, out of everything that's on the wall and everything that's happened in the 10 years, mm -hmm. what's your biggest like uh, brag or success story? What, what's your favorite story to tell about this? Mm. Favorite story to tell, huh? What am I most proud of? Is that what you're asking? Or? Yeah, I did like, you know, the President of the United States actually have one of your drinks that you can yeah. No, but I'm just saying, you've got a uh, story. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's all been small, you know, steps and gains that we've made, what you know. Favorite, what's your biggest award that you're most proud of? Which is the hardest to win? To win? Well, you know, um, the U.S. Micro Whiskey of the Year, and Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible, Double Gold in San Francisco for our bourbon, um, best bourbon at the, at the uh, World Whiskey Awards. Um, but you know, it's really more about the people, you know, that we've, the friends we've made, uh, um, how uh, you know lucky we are to have the support that we have from the state of Arkansas and the friends that, you know, and, and, and the people that work for me. I mean, you know, I couldn't do this alone. And uh, I've got some great people that work for me and uh, work with me. Um, and so, you know, all that um, goes into what we do today. So just Arkansas proud. Yeah. Okay. What's one thing that would surprise people most about you? They know you love whiskey. They know you love this business in Arkansas and supporting 
Arkansas growers, apparently, because yeah. you got trees, you got grain, you got, well, Louisiana is close to Arkansas, you have right. sugar from, so, I mean, you like American made, right. but yeah. tell me something that would shock the sugar out of me. I don't have any shockers. I don't have any shockers, you know. Um, you know. Um, you know, uh, I'm a pretty creative person. Um, so I play some musical instruments. Okay. So I am a, a flute player and a bass guitar player. And uh, I played in uh, rock and roll bands since I was in since I was 14, <laughs> and uh, played in clubs all over Arkansas and down in Texas when I was in college. And uh, I uh, played the flute regularly, and uh, you know, like the classical side of things as well. Well, you know, I was born and raised in Arkansas. I'm fifth generation, sixth generation Arkansan. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't want to leave Arkansas to work for Verizon. I decided to stay here and proud that we source as much as we can locally um, from Arkansas corn, Arkansas wheat to Arkansas barrels. So the boxes are made in Arkansas. The glass comes from Arkansas for the bottles. You know. You I think it's real important to buy local and support local and, and um, you know, we uh, have worked really hard to make a good product to represent Arkansas. That's awesome. Well, I so appreciate oh, your time. Oh yeah, and sure. It, we worked for... out most of those questions without me having, having to write them down when we were touring. So yeah, we're good. Walking through there. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right.